Good morning, modern steaders. Nice, brisk. <laughs> 39 degrees out this morning, y'all. Uh, I bet y'all from down south have not seen these temperatures yet this year. Morning, pigs. You like the cool weather, eh? You're drooling. The milking room is insulated, and so is the workshop. Life for out here. It's like 20 or 30 degrees warmer in the workshop. <sighs> Can't believe it guys, and I left the garage door open till about 8 o'clock last night, and then all the doors open. So there's no heat, but it's that much warmer in there than out here. A lot of y'all are asking how can we didn't insulate the barn, the barn area where the goats are. It's not healthy to have animals in an insulated barn. You need to have a well-ventilated barn for your animals. But the back wall that the goats sleep up against is insulated. And just going in the barn, I could feel it was warmer. So this wall being insulated, they, they sleep up against it. That should help hold their body heat and radiate it back onto them. So I think that will make a good difference for the goats in the wintertime and it's still going to be well insulated, well ventilated out there for them. Thank you, Willow. How was your grain this morning? Hey, no, no, are you going to put this further away? Willow, come on. Really? Why do you want that foam? You don't eat foam. <sighs> She's like a kid, guys. She's like a kid. And that's another reason why I didn't insulate the barn. Because I assumed the goats would want to eat the foam. I don't know why. <sighs> I guess that project's got to get put on the list right away. Boarding the milking room. So that Willow won't eat the foam. Why would you want to eat foam, girl? is so tasty about foam? Huh? That's what I want to know. What is so tasty about the foam? It's to keep it so you have a warm room out here. Go for it. Come. Come on and blossom. Buttercup. You're always waiting here every morning for me, Blossom, huh? You like hanging out and waiting? What are you doing, Hope? You eating the seaweed? Is that good seaweed this morning, huh? Yeah. Let's put your water outside. Well, we gotta leave the gate to the pasture closed until we let the chickens out so the dogs can come out in the pasture with us and run around. Then we'll let the goats in. You boys want out. You're silly. Come on out, Caleb. You're doing all the crying. Now you gotta come out. There you go. Good morning. Good morning. You're getting your winter coats on too, aren't you? Yeah. Good morning. Go to the chicken pasture. All the viewers who last fall told me I needed to put a walkway through my rock wall to get to this pasture. Thank you! I'm so glad we did that. Now we got a gate to the fenced in pasture, y'all. This is awesome! I'm leaving the fence post high. We gotta figure out what height we wanna cut them off to after. But gonna, I wanna leave them high over the gates like they are. I think we need to come up with a sign to go over the arch 
to make like an archway. What should we name the pasture? What should the sign say? Thank you. I'm glad I took your advice, all of y'all, on this idea. Go for it. No crow this morning, Moose. We're waiting for you. Nothing. Wow. You ready, Tan Man? I wish I had a thermometer out here, guys. It's 38 degrees out. It's got to be 60 degrees in here. Anyways. We get to unwrap it like a Christmas present. I can't wait. So there was a lot of people asking in the first video when we prepped for insulating about the paper. The paper's not gonna bother it because it's all tucked behind our two by threes. I wanna have some exposed posts and beams. That's why we're insulating it the way we did. I'll have to get in here and clean up the corners and stuff. And if we didn't paper the post and beams, it would have looked like these two by threes right here, just like oversprayed and splattered. So taking the extra time and masking it off, it's gonna pay. Gable end walls, we're not gonna do anything with. We're gonna leave them like this. And same thing with the sailing. I don't plan on doing anything else up there. We don't need to cover that. It's gonna be a tedious job now, but we'll be enjoying the outcome for years.
A lot warmer in here, isn't it? <laughs> a lot warmer. <laughs> I the door. Um, what do you think you're doing in here? This is my workshop. Stop it. You're taking over already? I got your corner made into a mess for you. Yes, yes. <laughs> I was going to say cleaned up for you, but it's more of a mess than anything. Nope, they came in. The kids came right in, I was surprised. Oh, Mr. Figaro, what are you doing? Ooh. I can't get over how good this works as a dry erase board. That's why I'm like, get the dry erase board back really soon. This is... Because we did this a little bit ago and you can still yeah. wipe it right off. This is the top from our old antique wood cook stove out in the outdoor kitchen. But we can... We wrote on that, what, three weeks ago? I don't know. It was, and it's been outside, too. Oh, yeah. And it wipes right off. So Gina wants to get the rust off of it. We're going to put it in the milking room. I should have did that part. I think you're doing a I think you're doing a great job. Just blow just put it outside, we'll blow it off. What's that? Rusty Nelly. Make sure you got your mask on. I'm not gonna blow it for me. Oh, the goat's getting fuzzy there, Figaro, huh? You guys all getting your winter coats on. Even you're getting fuzzy, dude. Yep, that time of the year. I'm gonna try this metal rescue rust remover gel, and then I'm gonna paint it on, and then you're supposed to put plastic wrap to keep it wet. And it says 30 to 90 minutes for light rust, so, and then 12 to 24 hours for heavy rust. So I'm gonna do 12 to 24 hours. So tomorrow, I'll just take it off and see what it looks like. All right, let's do this. We got a mess going on in here. Here, spray foam. 
I put the nailer here, stopped it a few inches below so that way we could spray foam up there. Then I can run my boards up and then we'll just put the top nail here. Got that tedious job done. You must have got something. What's that? You must have forgot something. Oh, I think there's a couple of spots of insulation I need to trim up. That's what this life is made for. So what I'd like to do is I'd like to get all these posts like a darker weathered look and then sand them down lightly to get the super coarse stuff off so that way everything's not hanging up on it. And one of the viewers recommended, got it over here and I wanna try it on a piece of scrap wood. Liquid iron that people spray on their lawns. So I thought we'd try it on a piece of scrap wood and see what effect it has. I'm gonna try it full strength today. When we did it with the SOS solution, how fast did that work? I don't think it's I think it has to dry. I think it's gonna sit, right? So I'll let this sit, we'll have to come back and see what it looks like. Alright, so this was the same board. Let's see what it looks like afterwards. I like that. It gets a little bit darker, that'll be awesome. That'd look nice on the posts and then do pine on the inside of the walls and have a nice contrast of that to the lighter pine. These are hemlock and the walls will be pine. Oh, I think that'll look awesome guys. Let it sit and see how dark it gets. I'll let the goats out. Getting your winter coats. She's probably the less fluffy. The Arizona goat's got the least fur. Mm -hmm. Like, let me out, let me out. You coming out, Hope? Come on. I gotta follow. Oh, there comes Hope. <laughs> Where are you, Hope? There you are. Ah, oh, she found a leaf.
Going for the apples? Look at all the room you goats have now. Uh, Hope's fertilizing for us. Oh. That's what we want. That's what, hey. They are <clears> the apples. <throat> got your CWC shirt on? I got the CWC Memorial shirt on. One of y'all viewers drew this up on a napkin. I loved it. We made it into a t-shirt. I'll leave a link in the description down below to our new merchandise store. They did a really good job. I couldn't draw that on a napkin. Could you draw it on something else? No. <laughs> <laughs> That's not one of your... Ooh. Fortes? It's not one of my specialties is drawing. Can't be good Nope. Blossom has definitely gotten more friendly, I think, in the new barn. What do you think, Hope? You like all the new pasture? You girls have not even explored like an eighth of it yet. You have so I much more to like check to out. The they haven't even made it up there, well, really. Willow started to go, and then she checked out the chickens, and then she just came around and back. So I don't. I just, they must have scared her. So. The furthest they went yesterday is to the spool, and they ran all the way back to the barn. Well, they thought, thought they couldn't see it. They'll get more adventurous someday. We should make the other one into a teeter totter. We'd need to. Because it got the prize open so we could just get a board. Right. That's not a big one though. Well, I don't want one to pop up in the air though. Did that happen? No. Do they always land on their feet? I'll find out. No. <laughs> <laughs> I was curious if they were going to like the water bamboo, the knotweed. I was hoping they would. You enjoying the knotweed girls? I'm glad. Glad it's good for something. Did you go too far, Willow? You had to come back? Oh man, why didn't you let me record that? So this board is dry. What did it look like before? Like this. So this is what it... It's definitely a lot. And then I'll put a clear coat on it so it'll make it more wet looking. So I think oh, it'll I look... It did quite a bit. Yeah, outside I didn't notice it. And then we're going to have the walls out of this. So there'll be a huge contrast. Can you have the wall out of what? This pine. You had to sell you this. I did. So that looked cool for a contrast. Mm -hmm. What is this stuff? Is that chain tasty or what? Your pigs are sleeping. Oh, yeah. Can you sneak up on them, you think? Maybe. Shh. Be very, very quiet. I think they had too many apples. Oh. Zeke is giving away our positioning. I just throw it right on the apples. Since they brought their tub right into the oh pigmobile. No, so then my car will just bring the grain in since it's so tiny. You pigs are getting big. Watch out. I don't think the girls need any hay though. You got a whole pasture to eat right now. You want that hay? You can have that hay. There's a flower in it. You girls are supposed to be out exploring the new pasture. Curious to see what happens when we 
Go and do the chicken chores. Okay, you two, we're going out to the chicken and goat pasture now. No chasing goats. Pluto, sit down. Sit down. That's serious stuff. Two. Okay, you ready? Behave yourselves. <laughs> what are you doing, Moose? That's off. I haven't been turning it on. How many eggs do you think? Um, 15, no, 16, no, 17. 17, I think you're counting over there. Two, no, four. I'm just looking at how many eggs, oh my. You counting? Eight, 10, 11, 12, 14, 16, 18, Olivia. 18 eggs. Holy moly. You got a caterpillar on you? The chickens will eat it. Oh. You like that, Rock Hope? Oh, she's like, uh, it's just for the She's like, uh, hey, you guys leave the goats alone. Tanner, stay. Stay over here, come on. I hope so, like, I don't care, I'm safe. I'm gonna jump on some rocks. Yeah, to get some moves. What are you doing, Hope? Do? I'd go over there, the dogs will follow. Yeah. So now we know where Hope likes. Oh, and Willow's got an apple. Oh, they found the apples, but oh, look at Magnolia. Oh, they love the apples. Yeah. What are you doing, Hope? You like the rock pile? And the leaves. <laughs> Who's sneezing? What? Gina just got back from the post office and she picked up this right here that one of y'all sent. It's a ball collector. It's gonna come in handy here. Let me put it together and I'll show it to you. One. Don't push hard, it says. You almost had it. 13. Let me try now. Huh? I want to try.
Let me go get a bucket. It's just gone. It disappeared. Yeah, into here. What? And then when she comes over, they're going to flip this up, go like this, and all the apples are going to fall. Oh, that's heavy. <laughs> I was going to ask if it was heavy. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. There we go. Make sure they don't. Ah! You're not getting them in. Oh, sorry. Ah. <laughs> <coughs> Let's try this one now. Give it a tap. Um. Yeah, we did it. Can Let's I try? Tap. No. Let me try it. Mm. Not only do we have a fancy tool to pick up apples, Hi. but my daughter won't let me do it. So oh, it's a win win. Right. Win win. Come on, me. Eight, nine, ten. Well, you know how much 30 looks like, so now you know. A viewer sent this apple picker upper. It's a ball picker upper. I think it's from Amazon. I'll look to see if it, I think he said it got it off Amazon. Thanks, James. We're really mm. excited. Well, nobody is really excited. She won't let us try it. They're shooting stuff out of it. Huh? They're shooting stuff out of it. <laughs> You're gonna break it. Let me try it. It's like a popcorn popper, or like the. Oh yeah, with those kids walk behind. Yeah, when you were a kid, you had those little like fake vacuum oh, things. Oh yeah, that like the thing you popped Yep. All right, empty it out. <laughs> 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 I think this is like 40. I'm gonna get him in the bucket this time. <laughs> Wait, here's the thing. Gentle. I got switch buckets. Ooh, it's like... This is the kid that we tried to get to pick up apples, and it's torture to her. And now she won't let us do it. <laughs> time to get the first cold of fall. I guess it's still technically summer, but for us, it's fall. Uh, I think me and Gina are going to be arm wrestling over who gets to the workshop, too. Here she is trying to use it for her first project. Well, you know what I call redoing the walls in the workshop first project. <laughs> what do you think about doing two-tone colors in the workshop having the post and beams a dark weathered looking color and then having pine walls and then I was thinking about clear coating everything and the biggest reason for that is is we're gonna be using it for multiple different projects so I figured if we have it clear coated we can wipe it down and keep the dust off of it or if we get sawdust on it we can clean it easily I'm just trying to think of a good multi-purpose building or structure a lot of the times when we build stuff here on the homestead it's more than for for just one use it takes it costs a lot of money to build projects so it's nice to be able to do multiple things in it so this one's going to be the same thing it's going to be workshop if we need it for a barn we can use it for barn areas different times of the year we can use it for this for a studio for doing different stuff for the channel so it's going to be multifunctional. we're going to be wiring it up later on then i'm going to be doing it in electrical conduit this way again if i need to move outlets or if I need to cut a hole in the wall I don't have to worry about wiring <clears throat> sorry about wiring being in the wall so I'm just trying to plan ahead and think ahead who knows what we're going to be using this for I mean it's endless so leave it leave it in the comments let me know what you think about finishing it with two-tone colors if that you think that'll look good if it's going a little bit too overboard but this is going to be a fun project we have quite a bit of things we can do to it this winter when the weather starts going a little south we have a couple of little projects we're working on and then i want to get to getting the boys pasture area ready for them and we need to get an area set up and ready 
for breeding season. We got a lot going on. I'll stop rambling here because I know this video is getting long. If you guys are watching this video when it goes live, I hope you're having a great weekend. And we'll see you right back here on Monday at Lumna Acres, the guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom.